How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Another sort of weekly update video talking about what's gone on over the past week, you know, what have we got to talk about. We've got a few new leaks which have popped up for new upcoming stuff. We're going to talk a little bit about modding, Series 17, just the usual stuff. There's some quite cool stuff in this video if I'm honest with you. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if I do convince you to. Or don't subscribe if you think I'm boring, but let's get into it. So we'll start off with some new leaks which have sort of popped up onto the horizon. Now some of these are actually over a week old, but we have a new leaked car. It is the TVR Tuscan S. If we go to the festival playlist, one of the new seasonal championships called Papa Noel has a TVR Tuscan S hidden in the background of the sort of the logo let's say now this isn't the first car to get leaked through a sort of seasonal championship screenshot just because it's in the screenshot doesn't mean we're going to get it there's quite a few cars now which have been spotted on screenshots that we still don't have but nevertheless we can now add the tvr tuscan s to the leaked car list maybe just maybe we will see that in the future at some point um, there's another leak which is a horizon story or more specifically Horizon Drift Club Part 2, not Chapter 2, Part 2. There is a file within Horizon 5 files called Dialogue Drift Club Mexico Part 2. And within this sort of file, there is basically what it says on the tin, a dialogue for a Drift Club Part 2 story. We can see the full dialogue on screen here. It's the usual sort of blurb what you'd hear in a Horizon story, the cinematic kind of stuff. Um, a few key points worth noting is it looks like we're going to be able to drive the Formula Drift Ferrari 599 GTB. Um, there's going to be a helicopter, which is going to be a part of it, or a chopper, as they word it. You can see it mentioned at the beginning and at the end of the dialogue. There's going to be a chopper flying around, presumably taking photos of us while we're drift drifting. Ooh. We've seen in Horizon Stories and Showcase events that there are always special vehicles. We're not going to get to drive these helicopters, obviously, but they're going to be part of it, so that's pretty cool. So it's looking like there will be a Horizon Drift Club Horizon Story Part 2 in a future update. Not only that, we already know that there is a Donut Media Horizon Story Part 2 in the works where we're going to get to drive a high car, low car, all that stuff. We know that's coming eventually. We have no idea when. We can now add Drift Club Part 2 to it as well. Which makes me wonder if they're doing a Part 2 to sort of every single Horizon story, or at least some of the key ones. Part 2 Drift Club, Part 2 Donut Media, maybe there'll be more Part 2s to come. Let me know in the comment section below if you wanted a Part 2 to any Horizon story, which one would it be? What else have we got? Uh, very quickly before we touch on the leaks, we've got a new update. Now, it took me a while to read this and understand it correctly, but there is a new update for Forza Horizon 4 that has basically fixed the Super 7 credits exploit, which was fixed in Horizon 5. We know that there was a huge money glitch. It's been fixed through Super 7. There was an update for it. Well, it seems like maybe Horizon 4 had the same glitch as well, and they have now... They've mentioned on Forza Support that they've gone and made an update for Horizon 4 to fix that. You can see the release notes here. It was a couple of days ago now. So you can't do the glitch in Horizon 4 or Horizon 5 anymore. So back to talking about the leaks just very quickly. I showed you the leaked car list earlier. Well, this is up, it updated now with the TVR Tuscan S. Now, as I said, the ones marked in blue are the ones where we've seen screenshots of these cars like the TVR Tuscan. Now the Lotus Evora, the Hudson Hornet, these are all cars that have been seen just like that. We've still not been given these cars. And we still have all of the black cars as well, which have been found in the files, but still haven't came. Now it's been a couple of months since we last did a recap on this. and Actually, there's been no new cars added that are on this list. So it seems like in terms of the cars that they're adding that are on the leaked car list, none of them are on there at the moment which makes me believe maybe the leaked car list is something that we shouldn't really be going off anymore sort of you know wearing off or maybe they'll start to gradually come in again i'm not sure it did give me an idea though we we know that there is an ongoing crossword at the moment with clues as to what's coming we've yet to complete this crossword some of the words on the crossword have been cars we can see the urban rebel the nissan z the Sion roadster Maybe, just maybe, we can use the leaked car list to complete this crossword. Maybe that'll give us some hints somewhere. 
We're not going to focus on the crossword again just yet because we've focused on it quite a bit. But if anybody out there is actively trying to crack this crossword, maybe, maybe, maybe use this leaked car list and go off of the black cars, the ones in black. See if you can complete it. The one thing I notice is that the Ram TRX concept is a leaked car in the files and Ram fits very nicely in the seven across. So maybe that just is Ram after all. I think one of the main suggestions in the previous video was that five down could be Mercedes SL 65, but then that leaves nine across to have a number six as the second sort of letter. That didn't make much sense. Now, when I look at this leaked car list, there are actually cars with numbers sort of identifying them. The top one here, is the 36 Acura NSX. Now, if we actually add that to the crossword, it actually fits. We can put Mercedes SL65 down there and use that number six here to add 36 Acura NSX. See what you guys can figure out with it. Now, the next thing to touch on, something I've not actually mentioned in a while, and that's modding on Horizon 5. I'll never mod on Horizon 5. I used to do it a lot back on Horizon 3, as some of you OG subscribers might remember. But a couple of weeks ago, I showed a couple of the screenshots which were rumored to be leaks of a new update, a new feature. I was very skeptical, very skeptical of it and just said it just wasn't legitimate. Well, we now actually know what that is because after I released that video, I had a couple of DMs on Instagram, which I've only just noticed from people basically saying, that these are just mods. This is the modding community of Horizon 5 that just enjoy making cars look awesome. You can see what some of them said on screen and they're just trying to give people like me an insight to the modding community of Horizon 5 and what it's like nowadays. I have to say it looks pretty cool. Now I don't condone modding at all. No hacking, don't do any of that. Come on, what are you doing? But when it comes to harmless, solo, single player, making cars look pretty cool modding. I get where you're coming from, it's pretty damn cool. He provided me with a bunch of screenshots just to show me what's exactly possible with all of this modding stuff. We can see you can stance cars, you can give them a bit of camber, you can slam them to the ground, remove the hoods and give them Lambo doors and stuff like that. Brilliant fitment. There's just a bunch of stuff that these guys have managed to do over in the modding community. I'm only going to show a few screenshots on screen. But essentially what I'm trying to say is those screenshots I showed a few weeks ago were real, but not real, if that makes sense. They were real screenshots, but from a modded version of Horizon 5, where they're managing to tinker with the models a little bit and just make cars look really cool for screenshots and photos. Obviously, this does confirm a million percent that we're not going to be getting any of this fancy stuff in the game that was shown in those screenshots because it was just mods. But I wanted to clear that up for you guys since I'm going to presume that a few of you would have gotten the wrong idea with those screenshots that I showed. So guys, that's pretty much everything we had to talk about today. Many more videos to come. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this. And I'll see you all later.